really do what I think I really did? All right, it's morning and it's the morning. We're headed over to the cars and we're gonna get the bed for the rat back today. I'm gonna go ahead and apologize to Merlin in advance for what I'm about to do to his truck. I think that was the clutch, <laughs> smoking. <laughs> traded the truck part of this thing that we're going to get to Merlin. The bed's mine. But it, there's some snow over there and I'm gonna have to rally this thing a little bit, so you're gonna get what you get, Merlin. All right, we're gonna cruise over in the free truck and hopefully this thing will start. We get jumper cables, just, just cause. Hasn't probably been smart. running for six months. It's probably not charged up. Last time it ran though was for 24 hours, so <laughs> it might have. I, it should be, that's what I was hinting at. <laughs> we got batteries charged up on her anyway. <laughs> we may or may not have left that running all night. But it runs good when it runs. Woo! Oh, yeah. That's all the power the free truck's got. <laughs> I think she'll fire right up. She just lights. That thing's ugly. I'm glad it's Merlin's problem, not mine anymore. This thing's awesome. It runs like a top. Let's go home. Hunter wants to lay under this thing and get all greasy. <laughs> no. I'm getting you ready for your challenge with Rory. Come I on, see. dude. I'm helping you here. Yeah. Yeah. We got brakes. I think we can spin a donut in it. I think we ought to try. I think you're right. Right out there in the snow. We're gonna do it. I feel a donut coming on. <laughs> <laughs> it's not spinning it. the donut. <laughs> We're stuck though. <laughs> We're stuck. <laughs> no. <laughs> We're not stuck. I think that was the clutch. <laughs> Smoking. How should I pull us backwards? Didn't need you to pull us backwards. when we were trying to do a donut thing. What a piece of junk. That was almost it pretty was a epic valiant right effort, there, right? Until it just stalled. Donut in that thing. These things are frozen. Dang. That'll warm it up and then the, the loop will slide. Yeah, we gotta make sure to put these inside. Cold weather stuff's ridiculous. So basically, I just need you to pull me enough I can go down that hill. Because we're going to do a Rockford going down the hill. A what? Yep. You're about to understand what that is. Yeah. You're, you're just a baby. I'm looking hunter. for a jump or something like a Rockford. Yep, we're going to have to make sure we put these in the truck. Pull me down. Let's pull him down. I got it. 
heater turned on for you. Okay. But I need the air check to my front tires. Cause How I many think times we gotta do that? Oh, until you get me some new tires. I don't know. I didn't read that in the fine print <laughs> anywhere that I had to buy you tires. The day I gave birth to you, you signed the contract. The I should have read the fine print. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so I got this wreck truck, and these leaf springs are what we need in our rollback, in the rat back. So we're just doing some measuring, seeing how they're gonna fit in here and how we're gonna mount them up. It looks like we're roughly 30 inches from center bolt to center of axle. We'll go see. I know the leaf springs are physically longer in this, but I'm hoping from the front to the middle is the same. We'll just relocate that back piece. I think we got a game plan for the leaf springs. These ones would probably work for what I'm gonna haul on this truck, but we have a tendency to go overboard when we load stuff, so. We're just gonna put good springs on it to begin with and not worry about broken parts. 12 foot, we need to go do some measuring on a, an FJ. Let's go over there real quick. All right, take that to the front. Okay, to have the whole tire setting on, we need a 14 foot bed. 12 foot, we can load it. A 14 foot bed, we'd have everything on it. So, Let's climb on a 14 foot bed. Perfect. Just the front. Perfect. Really? That's 14 foot. So we cut that much out of the front of it. Right there. Weld that back onto the. Actually, no. Because I'm adding that much. That's 14 foot from there to the end. And I want to put you that back on. This right there. Yeah. We're going to have to go double that. Double that. To get that in there. But then that shouldn't affect That's still in the tilt in the back. So we got to go 20 more inches right there. That'll give you a 12 foot 4 inch bed that's flat. We've got some aluminum welding. 91 and a half inches wide. Let's go see what that looks like. So basically seven foot, 84 inches wide is what the tank is. Or 91? Yeah, it stick out three and a half inches on each side of that tank. Let's do it on the tires. What does that look like? Yeah, it's pretty close to exactly the same. So this truck is a crawler hauler basically. It's my off-road rig. 
if we have to go get a side by side that's somewhere we can take this I didn't build this to haul a lot of different stuff I built this to haul my FJ around so I don't have to tow a trailer oh and I should have probably address that orange fuel line that 500,000 of you have commented on that that's gonna get ripped off I believe you I think it probably will if I leave it as this that was a temporary fix just to get fuel in it and make sure it didn't leak so it's gonna come up it's gonna do different things don't worry about it we'll take care of that oh, I think we put some leaf springs on this thing today and get a bed unbolted yeah all right so we've got a bunch of mail we'll cruise through you guys are awesome for sending stuff to us Gary sends us oh he's a soapstone guy so he sent us a box of soapstone and a soapstone holder so thank you Gary we will put that to use KB tools they <laughs> send us some tape measures whoever this was I'm not sure if you know anything in there doesn't say who shipped it or anything like that but we got some sweet tape measures so thank you next one is from Glenn Glenn sends us some whiteout things. We're gonna use a bunch of this today because we got a lot of cutting to do, so thank you, Glenn. Marcus sends us some of our favorite variety of snacks. Oh, that says super hot. Think you could, this is no. jerky. Extremely hot. Which one's hot? I don't Extreme. know which one's hotter. This has got JD's name written all over it. And then there's Habanero jerky. I don't even know if I want to eat that. All of that sounds hot. Where's the original? Or <laughs> like... The barbecue. Yeah. Well, we'll give that. We'll give that. We'll, we'll get JD with this. So, thank you. James sends us a card and some markers. So, hooked us up with those and a cat shop cat thing. Missouri is where they're from. That's cool. Thank you guys. Hunter will mark, he can make all of his mistakes go away with these wide out markers now. Charles sends us something that's dang cool that Hunter could have used the other day. So, goes in your impact gun and then it has a Phillips bit on the end and you can hit it with the impact gun and turn it. Oh, that's nice. Pretty dang cool. Thank you, I didn't have one of those. Thank you, Robert. This is from, doesn't say. Maybe there's a, this, I'll show you what it is. Beaver nuggets, haha. <laughs> We've got a haul of beaver nuggets the last couple of days. I don't know who that one's from. Doesn't say on it. Whoever sent that, thank you. Seen the Jeepster build and thought of this. Oh, it's cool. And it is from, is it, that says regards? Regards, oh. Bernie. That's not even a name. <laughs> That's not a name. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so this is from Bernie. This is cool. Michelle should be probably opening this, but she's not here. This is sweet. This is an old school toy. It's a full on Jeepster Tonka truck. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. That may be one of the cooler things that I've ever got in my life. That's something I would have played with when I was a kid. Made in the USA. <laughs> you don't see that very often these days. Thank you, Bernie. This thing is sweet. We'll put it right there until Michelle comes and see if she notices it. You got it. No, you got it. I don't... You try it first. You're going to do it second, right? Is he... <laughs> Easy. <laughs> Son of a bitch. You at least going to shoot the ice down? I was trying. Don't. Oh my gosh! That's loud, dude. I can't. I got it. But it put it out. Uh, how's the jerky, anyways? I'm not crying. <coughs> I'm not crying yet. This was the. Is it hot? No. Nope. <laughs> yeah, moment. he's crying over there. It's not bad. <laughs> Come on, you got it. Okay, so that's that's the habanero 
Woo! I should have done that. No! <laughs> Hot! Ooh. Oh, we got one more. <coughs> That's hot. We're gonna eat some of this to, to calm it down. <coughs> David and Brandy hooked us up with some barbecue jerky. That's our flavor, right, Hunter? Uh-huh. And I can't believe my kids haven't ate this yet. And some sweet and spicy barbecue. And then some of these. We use this all the time. He didn't know if we'd seen these solder connectors yet. We have, we use them a bunch. And he also sent this cool, oh, that's so hot. <laughs> it's My nose is starting to It hangs around. around. He sent us this heat gun to melt these things, so. Cool, thank you. Well, I guess we're gonna load this jewel. Got the snow shoveled off. We'll back over here and hook to something. I don't think we'll hurt anything. I don't think so. I think you gotta have the, gotta have the power. power. It won't come out. I guess we drag it. I don't know anything about it. Is it turning though, the wheels? Yeah. Okay. If while it moves, if you'll yeah. turn. We're doing a little bit of good. So I got this truck basically because I needed this back part of it. So if anyone else is looking for a truck that's got 30,000 miles on it, this one's for sale, you should hit me up. So it's got a good motor and a good transmission, a good transfer case. Front end, I don't believe is good. I think it's broken in half. The rear end is good. I don't need the rear end. I'm just taking the leaf springs and the overloads and stuff. So there's some good parts on here. If you guys are interested, hit me up and uh, this could be yours. Forgot to tell you, this is a 2022 model, five of 22. So it's got a good Cummins motor in it, a good, I think they're 10 speed transmission, something like that in it. So it's got some good parts in it. Someone out there has probably blew their truck up and ruined it and needs a motor. I have all that stuff if you need it.
All right, we got some lunch in us. We are going at this thing. So as you can see, there's way more leaves in this. So we'll be able to haul a way better load on here. We're gonna go ahead and unbolt those. See if we can get them stuffed in the front. I think we can use the front mounts that are currently on the truck and uh, just do a little, little changing on the back end and I think we got it. So we'll see how this goes. One down. Brand new stuff comes off pretty easy. What's this new stuff? I know, right? Light torches. Yeah. It's a pretty serious stack of leaf springs. All right, so we got ourselves a game plan. We're going to hopefully leave this front mount and we're going to flip the leaf spring around. So this was the front. It's now going to become the back. We'll take this shackle, put it back here which measures the same from center of here to the front bolt equals the same amount. So that'll put my drive line in the same place. Then we'll take, cut this mount clear off. We'll take this new one, weld it to the frame, wherever it goes right here accordingly, and we should be in the chips. So it worked just fine. Sounds easy, right? Easy. Now we just gotta do it. Oh, did I really do what I think I really did? Throw the wrong side out. Should have investigated. Front hole's not as big. Or do we just cut the front mounts off? They're different sized. So that won't work. I was gonna say that's not. Yeah, that won't work anymore and changes a whole bunch of stuff. Gotcha. So yeah. We cut those off as well those on. I think that's what we do. I, it's gonna take us five minutes to torch that off there and grind it up. Same with this back one. Get both of them. Yeah, we just do one side at a time and yep. I think that's gonna be the way to go. Seems to be the spot. We need that. We need. Where's the nut that goes behind it anyway? And then the nuts are back there. You're quick, <laughs> man. You would have caught that. I... Someone spilled a hammer device behind me. Right there on the poise. Right? Yeah, I think it's good. I think that that's where it's gonna set. So I don't see anything wrong with that. that leaf. Jack's not touching. That leaf compared to this, that one, like that one was like a baby. Oh yeah, it is a baby. It's just a baby. That's about how far away they were, isn't it? Something like that. We'll probably have to cut that front off. So it'll set where we need it to. This back one. Is that gonna be? Close enough. That's close enough, isn't it? Yeah. Blow those off of there. Okay. So we can set that right where it needs to be. And I think I'll go to welding this thing in and making it, making it stay. That's way better. Oh. Night and day difference right there.
<laughs> Do some squats and oh, that's just heavy looking, Hunter. Holy crap. Got to roll that bad dog. To you, go back. Look at that. You guys are amazing. I'll bet we can load some stuff on that. So this side, I got it all whipped. You got that side ready to rock. So, it's looking good. Gotta measure everything and make sure like front to back is the same. Grab the tape, let's do that. 51 and a half. 52 and a quarter. Why I said we measure it. Yep. Well, there's weight on that. There's no weight on this. So we just gotta make sure we weld the front end, and then, then we'll this back. has gotta be the same angle to get it squared up where it needs to be. That's gonna be pretty close. Should probably be able to measure off the back of it to those. Right. And slide that to wherever it needs to be. Like normal, expectations didn't make reality again. Rear end's in it though. We got everything hooked back up. It's all in it, bolted up. It's good to go. So next time we'll start cutting the bed down. It's gonna be involved, I think. A lot of shortening and a lot of work, but uh, we'll get it done. So thanks for watching.